Hello and welcome to Point of View. Today I'm driving a Toyota CHR. This car was kindly given to me by Amser Bjerve. It's the Toyota dealer in Estonia. Go check them out. Now don't be confused with the Honda HRV. They're similar, aren't they? Basically, CHR means coupe high rider or compact high rider, whichever you prefer. It's a brand new car with Toyota's, uh, I think it's fourth generation hybrid system. So basically it has a 1.8 liter petrol engine. It helps out the electric engine if needed. Price wise, this particular car, I think it's around 27,000 euros. Starts from around 17,000 euros, which is really cheap actually. That's the standard version. You don't get much kit, but having said that, all CHRs get adaptive cruise control, which is really cool in this price range. If you want, you can put it in EV mode to be completely silent. So what does the CHR offer against sort of hatch territory? Concept car looks for not much money. This car really does look funky on the outside and on the inside you can see basically there are no boring bits. Everywhere you look you see design cues, you see nice materials. I think it's sort of a little brother to the Lexus NX or even the RX, they do look similar, don't they? And those cars look seriously cool in my books. I have to say I'm really surprised. This is the dynamic version and it has blue materials and bits all around. I mean, you have blue seats, blue sort of highlights around. It looks so futuristic and cool inside. Dare I say it, it's, it's very nice. Well, of course, there are some plastic materials all around but they're sort of hidden and you don't really touch and feel them because the leather on the steering wheel top notch this material here very nice and soft you actually get leather on the dashboard whenever you step in this car you are greeted by this great big iPad style screen the seats are very comfortable also they offer plenty of support yeah, Toyota's used to be boring and bland, but look at this interior, it's, it's really something, isn't it? When you're looking at the car, you're thinking, oh no, Toyota has made an unpractical car. But wait, it is a four-door, the handle is up here, aha, it's hidden away. Actually a really cool feature, I think, sitting at the back. Seems quite small on the outside, actually it's really nice inside. One thing I do have to criticize about the design, this thing here, it eats away all the light. It makes you feel sort of cocoon back here, but you have no light and visibility. Yeah. Now quickly let's talk about some bad points, because there really aren't many. The drivetrain, as you know, is the hybrid. It does 0 to 60 in 11 seconds. Yeah, it's not that fast. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the CVT gearbox it's sort of love-hate. In stop-start city driving it's a really good gearbox but when you're overtaking somebody it just revs, revs, revs and the sound isn't very nice. Is it a big problem? I don't think so because let's be honest most people who buy this car won't care if it has a regular automatic, a manual or whatever gearbox because it looks cool you buy it because of the looks and the hybrid drivetrain which means that you will get really really good fuel consumption this car is made to be driven in the city although it's sort, sort of an SUV it doesn't have four-wheel drive you can opt for a four-wheel drive uh, if you get the non-hybrid version but I would still get the hybrid version because you don't need the four-wheel drive let's be honest you will never ever go off-roading in this car. Due to the fact that it's a brand new car, it's a brand new model for Toyota, it isn't a facelift or anything like that. When it comes to selling your car, let's say in a couple of years, most probably you will get a good price and you don't have to worry about the hybrid technology because Toyota gives you extra warranty for the hybrid system. For the car itself it's three years or 100,000 kilometers I think, but when it comes to the hybrid system there is a five-year warranty and you can extend the warranty to up to 10 years if you regularly show it to Toyota and Toyota basically make sure that the hybrid system is okay so 10 years that's a really long time isn't it and yeah even if you pay a little bit more right now you will get a better price 
for this rather than an Auris or other simple hatchbacks. You will definitely stick out in the crowd. With this design in the city, everybody will notice you. Now talking about the equipment, the CHR really, really stands out because as I said, adaptive cruise control standard on all, all models. You have either 17 inch or 18 inch alloys. Every car gets an iPad style screen. This is the bigger screen, the smaller screen is also okay. There are many, many systems around that help you from crashing, from turning, from, I don't know, braking, whatever. I especially like the blind spot assist. So we have small acceleration for you. I'd say up to 70 or 80. It's actually not that bad. Thanks to the electric engine, you have instant torque. You're not buying this car because it's a sports car. But having said that, steering feels really nice actually. I like the fact that it's properly weighted. It's not as light as Toyota's used to be. Talking more about the screen, resolution could be better. Thankfully you get uh, audio buttons on the steering wheel because whenever you're driving hitting one of these two buttons which are the audio controls yeah it's really quite hard the audio system in this car it's a new JBL system it's designed specifically for this car it took them four years to develop it really really I'm not joking you can compare it to big expensive sound systems in luxury cars, Bang & and Bose, etc. If you want good sound quality, you have to get that option, you really do. If you get the Luxury Plus or the Dynamic Plus versions, you will get full LED headlights. I know it's not a cheap car, but let's be honest, you're gonna lease it anyway. It looks so funky and cool outside, you want the technology inside. So basically, you get the Luxury or the Dynamic version, better still get the plus versions of those two choices. I think it was around 30, 40 euros per month if you get the higher spec version compared to the lowest or something like that. And let's be honest, if you can't afford 30, 40 euros more on your monthly payment, maybe you should consider buying a cheaper car. Climate control, very simple and easy to use. You have these toggle switches, very nice and they're dual zones so you have two zones of course you have heated seats yeah oh actually all the buttons really feel solid and how have they made it like this I'm not joking they feel better than much more expensive cars in between the speedometers you get this small screen look at the motion you can see your fuel consumption your navigation your radio information cruise control information basically everything you can ask for Hear the electric engine working so nice and silent I can speak to you whispering the back pillars yeah they really really create the blind spot back there it's really hard to see out of it talking about fuel consumption right now it's showing me 4.5 the dealer told me that his record was 3 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah what Toyota has made is really quite remarkable it's a cheap well-made very interesting city sort of SUV type coupe why, why wouldn't you want it? if you'd like to try one go to Toms or Järve or your local Toyota dealership anyway this was my short review of the CHR thank you for watching let me know what you think comment subscribe and yeah see you again guys bye